Samia Moore? Uh, yeah, I wanted to ask you, like you say that when you ask, it's given to you. So when you ask, you put it into the vortex and the vortex accomplishes it and accomplishes it quickly. So it is given. Okay. You just got to be in the receiving mode so that you can let it into your experience. It's given to you as all things begin in vibrational form. But in order for you to be in a place where you allow yourself to receive it and translate it from the vibration to the thought and from the thought to the thing, you've got to hold some sort of steady vibrational alignment with it in order to get to witness the joyful becoming of what you want. Do you know that by the time you get the idea of something, you go, Whoop, what a good idea that is. It has come along and come along and come along. It's almost done by the time you are even able to know that you want it. Did you hear that? By the time that you are even able to know that you want it, it is well developed and it is a sure thing. But because you don't know that, because you don't start even measuring its becoming until it's coming into something that you can tangibly see. So often when you want something and you can't see it and you can't figure out how it's gonna come about, you let the absence of it be the dominant thing in your vibration and you slow it way, 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 way down. But if you could really believe what we say, that by the time you desire it, it's ripe, it's big, it's full. So much has happened. It's ready for you to start allowing the wonderful things to show themselves to you. That's the sweet spot. The sweet spot is between the realization, the conscious realization that you want it, standing there in certainty, knowing that if this time space reality has the wherewithal to give you the desire, that it has the wherewithal to give you the full manifestation of it. When you know that, then when those desires happen like that, you go, here we go, here we go. Now that what others would call magic, and I know the normalcy of non-physical knocking itself out to give me every little nuance and every little detail of every little thing that I want, here we go, here we go. Here we go, me and all that is and the energy that creates worlds flowing toward that. Okay. But you got to muster some worthiness before you're talking like that. So I, the question was that, do I need to keep uh, asking every day for it or if I just ask once? Here's the answer. If every time you focus upon it, it thrills you, then keep doing that. But if you're asking from your standpoint of needing something that you don't have, you're slowing it way down every time you ask. You have to ask yourself, from what framework am I asking? Am I pleading? Am I pleading for it? Please, please, I need this so much. Please, please. I got my answer. Say your prayers from a standpoint of appreciation, not from a standpoint of need. Because need doesn't let in what you want. But then when we say we are grateful, so that's also a... Uh... We, we, it's, it's important to be grateful. So when is we it, say grateful to something, then is that wrong to say that? You no, know, your appreciation is the most powerful allowing stance that you can be in. Grateful has a lot of resistance in it because when you're grateful, you're often grateful to have overcome the difficulty and the difficulty is often pretty strong in your vibration where think about the literal word appreciation. It's something wonderful becoming more. Some say, Abraham, you're really nitpicking about those two words. They are vibrational worlds apart. Oh, okay. Wow. I yeah. really learned a lot today. Yeah. Thank you so really much. Really good. Thank you. Really good. You're here. <laughs> I literally discovered you yesterday. <laughs> These are all the notes that I've taken from today in the videos that I watched yesterday. And then I went on your Facebook page and you were right going to be here. And I said, oh my gosh, I, I must have just brought this. I must have been in the receptive mode. Yes. I must have been in the receptive mode. Yes, 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 yes. 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 So I'm so grateful. Yes. And thank you everyone who's been up here. She's grateful. <laughs> I'm appreciative. I'm appreciative. I'm shaking. And I thank everyone who had the courage to come up here and those who, you know, everyone here today, thank you for teaching. There's no courage involved. Well, I'm shaking right now. <laughs> courage is very different from enthusiasm. Courage is very different than passion. Courage is overcoming something. And the thing you're trying to overcome is still stuck in your vibrational craw. Okay. We know you're new. We'll be easier. Thank you. <laughs> 
Yeah, I just, I can't believe that yesterday I was just like, it, it, so we get, we're, okay, let's just get to the point. Yeah. The oh, your time is up. We've enjoyed, <laughs> we've enjoyed this interaction. Oh, here we go. Yeah. I'm here, I'm just gonna try to focus. I study pranic healing and law of attraction and things like that, and I'm religious as well. I recently went through a breakup. That's been hard. I, I was dating someone for four years, and two months ago, we broke up. And the thing is, I know you can't attract someone back because you can't control what they do. You can't control their world. Because you can't control their world doesn't mean that you can't attract them back. But believing that you need to control their world will keep you from getting what you want. Right. Because you don't believe that you can control someone else. And you really can't. You can only control your own vibration. The power of influence is from aligning with source. In other words, when we say there is a leverage in alignment, which means there's a leverage in happiness, which means there's a leverage in clarity. When one is connected to who you really are, you're more powerful than millions who are not. Mm -hmm. There's true power of influence. So when you think about things that are people who are out in the world who are attractive, the reason that they are attractive is because their energy is not split by trying to satisfy the opinions of so many others. And so what you want to do is come into full alignment with what you want spend as little time as possible in pushing against what you don't want and in that clarity what you want must come to you and it will either come in the face of the one who went away or in the face of someone else but through the experience that you've lived you are in a stronger clearer place of asking and asking really for more than you ask for when you first attracted that relationship to begin with Yes. Yes. That's a big part of it because I felt that that was the truth that, right, you can't control someone else's destiny or bring someone back in, but I feel the reasoning is very close to alignment. The reason I want this person. Let us show you what happens in most relationships. So here you are, and let's say you want this set of things. And here's the other, and let's say the other wants this set of things. And let's say that some of them are the same and some of them don't seem quite the same. So what happens with most people is you look over there at the things that you don't agree with. So your vibration isn't clear. So you're not one of those who's connected to source energy. So you don't have the power of that leverage. And the other is looking at what you want that he doesn't want and so doing the same thing not in alignment either so here you are two people neither one tapped in or tuned in or turned on to what they really want both blaming the other for not being in a place that they want to be so that's why you have to leave the person that you want out of the equation in order to get the person you want because your awareness of who they're being if it's not in harmony with what you think you want keeps you out of alignment when there is huge potential of experiencing what you want if you just stop focusing upon the aspects that aren't what you want so so don't like focus on you know the negative parts of the relation yeah, because you get what you think about right and don't hold somebody else responsible for how the relationship is going we're certain that most of you believe that if they'd just be different, they'd be perfect. <laughs> if they'd just be different, then everything would be fine. But no one came into this experience to give you what you need for your world to be perfect. In the same way that when we say you came into this environment of enormous diversity in order to choose the perfect life that you want to live, we want you to understand that every person that you are co-creating with is like a microcosm of that. They have so much diversity so that you can create what you want from your exposure to the experience with that. But most humans don't get that. You need to stop doing that and stop doing that and do more of that and stop doing that and stop doing that and do more of that. And that isn't what you came into this environment for. You came to focus and align with what you want and law of attraction will bring you more and more of that until eventually it will bring you only that. So in knowing that, when you have something like a broken heart, you know, which is it just, I'm try, trying to get happy. And there are times I do, but then social media and I'm so drawn for momentum to go to his page. When your heart is broken, the sensation of a broken heart 
means you are in complete opposition to the source within you and what the source within you knows your heart is not broken you're experiencing what it feels like to be looking in exact opposition of what you want what do you mean we mean that you want the relationship you want the relationship to work you want the relationship to be wonderful but you've accepted that it's gone that it's not coming back that you can't have it so you are focused in such opposition to what you want and such opposition to what your inner being knows to be true that you feel as if your heart is broken that's so dramatic and so not true your heart isn't broken you're just in this moment focused in opposition to what you want cut it out yes ma'am <laughs> we're giving you a crash course in all of this but we want you to understand you get what you think about and it is certain that a lot of what you were thinking about was worrying about whether this was going to be ongoing worrying about whether it was going to last in other words yeah it was silly stuff it was a more of a realization that it was right after it ended well what we would encourage you to focus on just a little bit is that nothing has ended nothing is ever done you can't get it wrong and you never get it done and you can't get it wrong and you never get it done you can't get it wrong and you never get it done and the reason that you can't get it wrong is because it's never done so you stand in a new place with a whole lot more information within you with a whole lot more resolve within you with a whole lot of strong intentions within you and when you think back about how you came together how did you come together we're not asking for the specific details but we want you to think about were you groveling in the depths of despair and feeling the absence of anything and then some stranger dragged into the room and you said oh live with me so that I don't have to be lonely anymore was it like that or were you flying high and in your place of alignment you met up with someone and you were feeling good yeah it was more that it was way more that it was way more that the other came later <laughs> your initial coming together is the strongest indicator of the compatibility and your initial coming together showed you enormous compatibility it's so interesting to watch you you come together you meet someone and you're tuned in and through the path of least resistance you're inspired to be at this place at this time and the rendezvous happens and you can feel the exhilaration of it as it opens as you get to witness the manifestation of what's been going on in your vibrational reality in other words it's a wonderful thing and then you say tell me about yourself <laughs> and as you start facing the reality of where you have been before you were in that place where you rendezvoused that's what starts sort of messing up the vibration and that's where your incompatibility starts in other words we're going to tell you a story and it's going to feel off the subject to you but it isn't and the reason we're choosing a subject that is off the subject seeming to you is because it'll be more likely for you to listen to it without saying no no that's not me so just hear this story so a man is talking to us and he and his family have a house that they want to sell and they've been wanting to sell it for a long time been on the market for a long time and hardly anyone is looking and certainly no one is making an offer on the house so we said to him why do you want to sell your house and then he said well we've outgrown it our kids are bigger they want more space for themselves the house is sort of wearing out it doesn't look as good as it once looked the landscaping is really fading it needs a lot of work the place just isn't what it once was and we just want something better and we said so here's the advertisement that you are sending vibrationally <laughs> to the universe come and buy this dump we no longer want to live in <laughs> so we said do you remember how you felt when you first moved into the house he said we were so excited he said it felt so good we just loved everything about it we didn't have much furniture but what we had we placed carefully and we would buy more pieces and it was so fun and every weekend we'd go to the nursery and we'd buy more plants and as a family we would plant them a week later his house sold because now what he's broadcasting to the universe is what he wants not what is missing what felt good when he was in alignment not how it felt when they got out of alignment you see yeah. you heard what we're saying I really heard it yeah. really good yeah really good yeah. enough yeah thank you so much thank you.